Hello everyone and welcome to the weekly energy update for the week of December 24th, 2023. I'm Renee Spears, a spirit guide channeler and spiritual mentor, and I'm coming to you from a snowy Christmas Eve in Bozeman, Montana. Every Sunday I share the energy for the week ahead and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And Merry Christmas! It's hard to believe this is the last week of the year. And we're wrapping up the year with one more wonderful full moon that oozes harmony, warmth, and positive energy. On Tuesday, the 26th, at 4.33 p.m. Pacific, 7.33 p.m. Eastern, is the last full moon of the year. And this is the cold moon for obvious reasons. And this full moon is emotionally potent because it's in Cancer. Cancer is considered the home sign or the ruling sign of the moon. The moon loves being in Cancer, and Cancer is known for being emotional, nurturing, and sensitive. And Cancer reminds us to slow down and nurture ourselves. This full moon allows us to pause, reflect, and release as we prepare for a new year. The full moon will make us feel lighter so we can start the next year with open hearts ready to go. We'll be especially sensitive this week. It reminds me that back in the day, there used to be Budweiser commercials that had these big Clydesdale horses and a Dalmatian. And I have no idea why, but I would always cry at these touching commercials. So this full moon is like those old Budweiser commercials. One second you're watching a beer commercial, and the next second you're joy crying, and you really aren't sure why. Plus, this full moon is just a few days after the winter solstice, which was all about reflection, planning, and manifesting making this time especially strong for feeling all the feels and helping us let go of any emotional baggage that we're carrying from 2023 so we can enter the new year on a positive note. We're going to feel as though a major weight has been lifted off our shoulders, allowing us to start the new year fresh. And while we may be extra sensitive right now, we do have lots of pretty special and rare alignments supporting us and keeping us in balance. This full moon aligns exactly with Sirius. Sirius is considered our spiritual sun, and it's a star twice as big as our sun and 25 times brighter. So when the full moon aligns with Sirius, it gets activated and beams positive energy down on us. Because the moon is primarily connected to our emotions, this is where we'll feel the Sirius energy the most. Sirius helps us emotionally shed everything that is holding us back and blocking us from being authentic. It'll help keep us balanced and in a neutral state this week too. We may also receive energetic downloads. Sirius energy strengthens our psychic senses. So you may have some intense dreams and all the clairs will be activated. Clairvoyance, clair clairsentience, clairaudience, claircognizance. If there ever were a time to see the ghosts of Christmas past or present, this would be it. Jupiter is also very active with this full moon. Jupiter is a planet of abundance and luck. And when it's activated and strong in the sky, it shines positive vibes and good energy down on us and amplifies the energies of this full moon and Sirius. Jupiter is retrograde for another week. So retrograde Jupiter reminds us that our expansion is an inside job. If we want to manifest or materialize something, it all starts inside. We need to look within. So does your self-worth match your vision? Are you sabotaging yourself or keeping yourself small? There are so many reasons we prevent our dreams from manifesting unconsciously. We may fear the unknown. We may fear success. We may fear losing people as we grow. We may even fear losing ourselves. Our comfort zones are comfortable. They feel good and leaving them brings up lots of emotions. So Jupiter retrograde asks us to look at our growth from an internal view and make sure that our energy matches what we want to manifest and to get out of our own way. Next year is a big growth year. So get ready now so you don't cock block all the good stuff coming. This would be a fabulous week for some restorative or yin yoga. This type of yoga holds longer poses and allows your body to completely unwind. We often hold feelings in our muscles and our connective tissues, 
And this type of yoga frees them up to be released. Jupiter is also trying the sun, which helps us put things into perspective. So whatever happened this year, this moon wants us to appreciate the big picture and feel the joy that is surrounding us in the present moment. This moon is our reminder to tune into gratitude. We have so much to be grateful for, even if we only have a little. So spend some time reflecting on 2023 and all the things you have to be grateful for. Look back through each month of the year and celebrate it all. Mercury is currently retrograde for another week too. And while Mercury retrograde always seems to scare the crap out of us, it being retrograde right now is a good thing. Mercury retrograde allows us to see things from a different angle, which can be healing. We can use this Mercury retrograde opportunity to review the year and look at things from a different perspective to help us heal, shift, and release. Although we can't change what has happened, we can view it from a different lens. So this week is a time to recharge your energy and bring you home to yourself. Coming home to yourself doesn't come from the logical mind. It comes from feeling. So allow yourself to feel and give yourself what you need to restore your spirit and heal your soul. This full moon definitely feels like a gift from the universe as we wrap up the year and we move into the vibration of 2024. So slow down and enjoy its energies and soak up that powerful high frequency energy beaming in from Sirius, our spiritual sun. So please take advantage of the slow week to reflect and to process 2023. We won't get another week like this for a while. It's truly a gift. So please appreciate it while you can. And that is it for the week. I will be releasing the 2024 Astrology Forecast with Deborah Norton podcast this week. There's also only one more week to take advantage of the Astrology and Abundology package to prepare for next year. So you get an hour astrology reading with Deb and an hour spirit guide channeling with me for only $222. There is a link in the show notes, or you can go to my website, abundology.com to learn more. As always, thank you for listening and passing this podcast on to a friend who might like it. I'm staying in my pajamas all day, maybe going to play some Scrabble and then cook a fancy Christmas Eve meal. So Merry Christmas, everyone. I'll talk to you again next week.